Hello, I'm Jennifer Tonkovich, the Eugene and Claire Thaw Curator of Drawings and Prints at the Morgan Library and Museum. I'm also responsible for objects in J. Pierpont Morgan's library. Today I'd like to present to you one of Morgan's favorite objects, the Running Eros, a Hellenistic bronze created in the second or first century BCE, that is, between the year 200 and the year zero. Unearthed from a private Roman villa of the first century, it's now enjoyed by 21st century visitors to Morgan's Renaissance-style villa. The running Eros was unearthed from a Roman villa in the resort town of Bosco Reale, south of Naples, Italy. Bosco Reale was an affluent retreat for wealthy Romans. It was located on the south slope of Mount Vesuvius, a mile north of Pompeii. The town was buried in the eruption of Vesuvius in the year 79. The eruption also preserved the resort towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum. In Bosco Reale, several villas and their contents were preserved. During the 1894 excavations, a treasure hoard was found containing over 100 pieces of silver, mostly tableware and jewelry, and more than 1,000 coins, buried in a tank used to store water or wine, probably before the residents tried to flee the eruption. Several silver vessels were inscribed with the name Maxima, the woman who may have owned these precious objects. It's not clear if the Morgan running Eros was excavated at the same time and from the same location or from another villa at the site. The villas were built as retreats for Roman aristocrats. One of the villas is well known, that of P. Fanius Sinistor. The bedroom or cubiculum frescoes from that villa are in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Met bought the Bosco Reale frescoes in 1903, while Morgan was vice president of the museum. He would become president in 1904. The decoration of these villas often celebrated pleasure and relied on mythological narratives. The area around Bosco Reale belonged to Magna Graecia, or Greater Greece, where Greek settlements mixed with the native Italic populations and flourished. It gradually came under Roman control. When the running Eros was made in the 2nd or 1st century BCE, the culture was still strongly Hellenistic, that is, Greek. The later Romans of the first century who enjoyed living with the figure were educated elites who had a reverence for Greek culture and philosophy. Taking a closer look at the Eros, we see a winged puto, or a young boy, in motion, with the toes of his right foot touching the ground. He reaches forward with his left hand, brandishing a torch. His right arm is extended back, balancing this forward movement. Thick, wavy hair frames his features, and his mouth is open, as he breathes during his exertions with the slightest hint of a smile spreading across his face. His eyes are sharply carved, but empty of their inserts. You can see that part of the surface is smooth, revealing the color and patina of the bronze, while in some areas it's rough and mottled, reflecting the chemical changes in the metal surface while it was buried for nearly 2,000 years under a blanket of ash from Vesuvius. Running Eros was cast in bronze, which is an alloy of copper and tin, sometimes with the addition of lead. The casting process allowed for the figure to be relatively lightweight and durable, with a smooth surface of golden brown hue, which became richer with time and exposure. The winged Puto has long been identified as Eros, the Greek god of love, the cognate of the Roman god Cupid. As the god who lights the flame of love in the hearts of men and gods, Eros bears his signature torch. Eros was a popular figure in Hellenistic and later Roman poetry. A similar example of Hellenistic bronze Eros holding a torch is in the Harvard Art Museums, although the origin of that figure is unknown. Running Eros is typical of the Hellenistic period, which embraced the concept of childhood and which often depicted gods as children. These works are based on close observation of actual children and display a new naturalism. The chubby body of the child reveals an understanding of toddler's anatomy and the movement of the body. Later Romans enjoyed these depictions and made many replicas of them. They included these figures in gardens or fountains at their villas. It's no surprise that the Hellenistic Eros would have found a home in a villa at Bosco Reale. Morgan acquired the running Eros at the moment he began construction of his private library. His son-in-law recorded that it was his favorite object and one he always liked to keep in sight. It's remained on view at the Morgan since Pierpont Morgan's lifetime. The running arrows can now be seen in the librarian's office, which was where Morgan's library in Belda Costa Green worked. The room is open to the public for the first time in 2010 and is now a gallery for ancient works from the collection, including ancient Near Eastern seals and tablets and a handful of Egyptian and Roman antiquities. 
The running arrows is one of the few objects from classical antiquity in Morgan's personal collection to have stayed at the library. 